children, and welcome to William's Reading Theater, the only kid show hosted by a toy. Barney is a dinosaur and Blippi is a tool, but neither are toys. We are all, however, slaves to the mighty dollar. And, speaking of capitalist pigs, I shall now tell the tale of the three little piggies. This little piggy rented a house made of hay. It's all he could afford. This little piggy bought a house out in the sticks. He saved so hard. This little piggy got a nice third level walk up. He came from money. This little piggy said nay to all of that and got on a boat and sailed into international waters. But less about him and more about the other three. Now, there was this wolf. Real asshole. You'd hate him. He went to the first piggy and said, I am your landlord. You can't afford rent, so whoosh. He went to the second piggy and said, I am the bank, and you owe me a mortgage. The piggy was like, what? And the wolf went whoosh. He then went to piggy number three and said, Time is a concept, I am a god, and Game Boy Advance is the best one they ever made. But before he went whoosh, the fourth piggy sailed in and saw that his brother's porks were chopped. So this little piggy went to market, bought a Game Boy Advance, because yeah, they are pretty rad, and built a guillotine in town square. They strung up the wolf and sang a little song. I'll pay my rent when I dang well can, Greg. Well, that's that. Now, we just have time for one fan letter. James Campton says, William, your show makes reading Rainbow look like f***ing blippy. <laughs> oh, James. We don't condone swearing here, but yeah, fuck blippy. And children, we'll see you next time on another exciting chapter of William's Reading Theater as we tell the tale of Rumpelstiltskin. Stiltskin. <laughs>